Conservatives in Washington, D.C. are anxious to find out how replacing Justice Antonin Scalia will affect gun rights. This after the late justice affirmed an individual's right to keep and bear arms during the Supreme Court's decision in D.C. versus Heller. One America's Neil W. McCabe has more from Washington. 2008 Heller decision written by Justice Antonin Scalia was the first gun rights case considered by the Supreme Court in 70 years. The decision, which overturned the D.C. ban on handguns, opened up this current era of expanding gun rights across the country. Dick Heller, a D.C. resident who worked as an armed guard at the Supreme Court, sued for the right to have a handgun for his personal use. Heller said he will not forget the moment he learned he had won. The courtroom was so quiet. It was so quiet you couldn't believe it. Suddenly there was a noise that we didn't know what it was. And soon we realized that that strange noise in a room so quiet was the swishing of the justices' robes as they mounted the stairs up to the bench. After two other decisions were read, it was announced that Scalia would read the court's ruling on the Heller case. When it was announced that Justice Scalia would read the opinion, we were holding our breath, and his first words were, we are not here today to erase the Second Amendment from the Constitution. Hans von Skowoski, a senior legal fellow at the Heritage Foundation, told One American News, the passing of Scalia puts gun rights in jeopardy. The Heller decision was 5-4. Uh, that's why the choice of the next justice is so important, because if a, a fifth liberal justice comes onto the court, uh, Gun rights will be in terrible danger across the country. Roger Pilon, the founding director of Cato Institute's Center for Constitutional Studies and a friend of Scalia, said, Heller is a classic example of Scalia's defending the original intent of the framers. The court decided five to four that there was an individual right to keep and bear arms. And that was a great uh, triumph for an original reading of the Constitution. The former Reagan administration lawyer said it was vital that Senate Republicans hold the line to protect the Heller decision, as well as Scalia's entire folio of jurisprudence. The Senate has every right to sit on that nomination. Indeed, our history is replete of examples of the Senate not acting, especially in an election year, on nominations to the Supreme Court. Neil W. McCabe, One American News, Washington.